Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing a case related to a 17 year old female who presented to OPD with a left knee pain for about six months. She is a college student and she is an avid dancer as well. And she has plans to pursue her career as a choreographer. That means she'll be dancing for throughout her life. On average, she danced about 18 hours per week. And now you can very well imagine if somebody is pursuing a career in dance and she's having a pain of her from past six months, this could be a lot of problem for her. She has continued to dance all along from the six months. But the problem is that with dance, it actually has started to uh, have increased pain over the period of time. This pain has aggravated and actually now has started to uh, say, uh, limit her activities of daily living. That is that her dance is actually getting affected by the pain which is, she is having. The pain is mainly localized towards the anterior and medial aspect of the knee and mainly over the left knee as well. Now, when this patient was examined, this patient has mild swelling of the left knee. There was increased tenderness over the patella and parapatella region. There was some degree of tenderness mainly over the anterior as well as the medial aspect of the left knee. And uh, other tests were done which actually showed that on extension of the knee, the increased pain over the on patellar tapping. As a result, on palpation of the patella during the extension of the knee joint, that she was actually apprehensive as well as there was increased pain which we could feel during this test. Other tests related to the meniscal injury related to AC and PCL were all fine and there was no other uh, issue which, was, could, which could be elicited on the clinical examination. When x-rays was done, we found out that there was no significant fracture, there was no dislocation or there was no meniscal involvement as well. X-ray left knee AP joint showed uh, was almost normal. There was no patellar uh, instability. There was no patellar uh, fracture and there was no associated dislocation. On the lateral view of the left knee joint, on the uh, patellar did show some sclerosis on its under surface with subchondral bone osteopenia and when this was noticed it was most likely suspected to be a cartilaginous lesion therefore mri was ordered when mri was planned and mri was done we found out that there was a bone bruise on the medial femoral condyle and as well as there was thinning of the cartilage of the patellofemoral joint as well now all this leads to our diagnosis that most likely a avid dancer who is continuing to dance with having an almost patellofemoral pain on the anterior medial aspect of the knee for past six months most likely the problem is of a cartilaginous origin leading to patellofemoral pain syndrome so what what else it could be what is the diagnosis which comes to your mind is it something else other than the patellofemoral syndrome or it, you think it most likely she's suffering from patellofemoral syndrome. If yes, what do you think is the right treatment? What is the treatment options which are available for the treatment of patellofemoral syndrome? And what exactly other options are do come into your differentials as well? Because not every knee pain is this, patellofemoral pain and other differentials should always be kept in mind. To uh, know further and to inquire further about what is actually patellofemoral syndrome, go to www.scadi.com and you can view an online lecture over this topic that is the patellofemoral syndrome.